high-speed yachts, massive tankers, and luxurious liners. It seems that modern ships have reached the pinnacle of perfection, and it's impossible to improve them further. However, there are companies that take a different approach, and their innovations can surprise you. Today, we'll dive into maritime topics, and you'll learn what a bulbous bow is and why it's necessary, how the Vikings influenced modern shipbuilding, and also see one of the newest and most unusual yachts in the world. The ships we're discussing today have a distinctive feature, the inverted bow. This form of the ship's bow means its front point is located not at the top, but at the bottom. Another name for this design is the reverse bow. It isn't a modern invention. Inverted bows were featured on ancient galleys. They were primarily used for ramming enemy ships. This ship shape was widely used during the Age of Sail and at the dawn of the Armored Ship Era. For instance, the battleship Borodino had this unique feature, but as artillery and torpedo armament evolved, the importance of ramming rapidly diminished. It seemed that this type of bow design had become obsolete. However, in 2006, a ship of a very peculiar shape took to the seas, with a forward-set superstructure and a bow that resembled an iron. This unconventional design turned out to be so successful that today, the Norwegian company Ulstein Group has over a hundred orders to build similar vessels. This design has been named the X-Bow and has no equivalents worldwide. You might wonder, why build such ships in the 21st century? It turns out that this layout offers several advantages and has the potential to radically change the shipbuilding industry. Let's delve into its benefits. Ships with a traditional bow literally pierce through waves, creating a bow or shock wave in the process. Overcoming this wave requires a lot of energy. It's even worse for the ship during rough seas. The losses multiply. One partial solution is the bulbous bow, a droplet-shaped protrusion at the lower part of the bow stem. If designed correctly, the bulb creates its wave while moving, overlaying the bow wave and partially neutralizing it. The bulbous bow can result in fuel savings of about 10%. Nowadays, almost all large displacement vessels are equipped with it, but the benefits are most pronounced at relatively high speeds. In the X-Bow technology, there's no need for a bulb. Instead, the bow itself forms the correct shape, significantly reducing dynamic resistance. Ships with a traditional bow have another drawback. During storms, they lift their bows upward and then fall from the crest of a wave, sending tons of spray into the air. Some of this spray then drenches the deck. These torrents pose a significant danger to the ship's equipment, crew, and cargo. Ships from Ulstein minimize these disadvantages. The letter X in the name Expo is reminiscent of the word axe. The bow of a ship built using this technology indeed resembles an axe. Such a bow doesn't break the waves, it literally cuts into them, conserving energy that would otherwise be wasted on the impact. This results in fewer splashes being thrown into the air, and it reduces both the pitching, fore to aft rocking, and rolling, side to side rocking, of the ship. The inverted X bow is more efficient even in calm waters. The reduction in the frequency and force of impacts against the water improves the working conditions for sailors and extends the ship's lifespan. These are not theoretical considerations, but results from real life tests. In 2007, a competition was held between the ships Scandi Caledonia and Bourbon Orca. Orca had the inverted bow using the Expo technology, while Scandi Caledonia had a traditional design with a bulbous bow. With the same power output, Caledonia could only reach 8 knots, while Bourbon Orca accelerated to 13. Expo ships also underwent numerous tests in severe storms, proving their excellent seafaring qualities. For instance, in 2016, Bourbon Orca faced a powerful storm with 49-foot waves. Orca not only survived the challenge, but also surprised the crew with its smooth sailing. Additionally, ships from Ulstein consume less fuel, which can result in significant savings on an industrial scale. Ulstein claims that their inspiration for the X-Bow came from the famous Gokstad Viking ship, excavated by archaeologists in the late 19th century. The company's engineers were particularly drawn to the ship's rounded, protruding bow. Other ships from that era were also thoroughly studied. According to contemporary accounts, Viking longships and NARS, despite their modest size, had excellent speed and seaworthiness. 
The revolutionary hull design wasn't immediately accepted. The design process was accompanied by an extensive testing program in a pool. Alongside the inverted bow, designs with a traditional structure, both with and without the bulbous bow, were tested. The tests revealed that the design of ancient Scandinavian seafarers combined with the inverted bow was the most effective. The flagship of the project was the aforementioned Bourbon Orca, a ship designed for servicing drilling platforms. The vessel caused quite a stir among professionals. That same year, it was named Ship of the Year at a competition in Hamburg, and a model of the Orca, which translates to Killer Whale, became part of the exhibition at the London Science Museum. Currently, over 100 ships built using the X-Bow design are either in operation or under construction. Initially, this type of structure was designed for coastal ships, i.e. for short distances between seaports of the same country. However, it has recently become clear that the Viking Bow is also suitable for large ocean-going vessels. In 2017, an American cruise company ordered four liners with the X-Bow inverted bow. They plan to use them for cruises in high latitudes. In 2020, the first super yacht with an Expo design named Olivia O was launched. This motor yacht, nearly 292 feet in length, cost almost $200 million and was one of the most exciting releases of 2020. As befits luxury yachts, it's equipped with a helipad, a 33-foot pool, a gym, and a cinema. Its interiors are done in a Japanese style with an abundance of wood. Olivia O oh belongs to Ail Ofer, a billionaire of Israeli descent from Monaco. Notably, he co-owns one of the largest shipping companies in the world and clearly knows firsthand about new technologies. Thus, the Olstein Group has managed to set a new trend in shipbuilding. The creation of the Expo is undoubtedly a significant event in the world of shipbuilding. It once again proved that sometimes it's worth looking back at past technologies to improve them for the future. The famous Viking longships have been reborn and will once again conquer the expanses of seas and oceans. We are curious to hear your opinion about this video in the comments. At this point, we get to the end of our video. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon and give this video a big thumbs up.